Does this surprise anybody at all? Last year, uh, we sanctioned, the United States sanctioned a Moscow-based crypto exchange in order to stymie the Russians to evade all sorts of financial blockades, sanctions, all sorts of good stuff. Um, a year later, that crypto exchange is booming. Oh, yeah, you got problems with the fancy pants ones here in the United States and Gemini and then Binance moved and FTX collapsed. But the uh, the Russian crypto exchange uh, set up in Moscow, they're doing yeoman's work. They're, they're kicking butts over there. Yeah, they're on a U.S. blacklist. Uh, but ask most of the world if they give a shit about that. They don't. Uh, this company, Garen Tex, has become a major channel through which Russians move funds into and out of the country. Um, there will always be someone to provide that service. Uh, their growing role as a global conduit for illicit funds was underscored uh, by evidence that the Palestinian militants uh, financed their operations through crypto. Really? Through crypto? That's such a surprise. Oh, we, we, no, we were told by all the crypto people out there that it's warm and soft and fuzzy and it's the blockchain. I, I can't remember the year when man, this whole cryptocurrency thing started kicking into gear and I'm having a conversation with somebody about this and they're, they're just explaining it to me. And, and I, the, the first thing that came to mind is this is one of the greatest um, opportunities for criminals I've ever seen. I, I, I said, this is, you know, this, this takes money laundering to a whole new level. And obviously I get sub references going in my mind. Remember Joe Pesci and lethal weapon two was the accountant explaining to, uh, uh, to Riggs how, uh, uh, how, uh, money laundering works. And you also get that scene in, um, Scarface, where, where Tony Montana is bringing uh, bags of cash to the banks in Miami who were able to launder it a hell of a lot easier than they are today. The bulk of my um, yearly continuing edu education uh, that I have to take and all our advisors have to take, um, the bulk of it has to do with money laundering. Yeah. Year in, year out, I have to sit through, read this, answer questions, about money laundering, like yeah, I'm, I'm doing business with the uh, the cartels in Mexico. And, and I, I laugh at this stuff where you have a means right there hiding in plain sight, which allows criminals to operate. Um, human traffickers, you, do you think they're dealing in cash? Do you think they're moving their money around via the, the banking system? No, they, what, what we've created Okay. And I don't care you people that are all into it. Thinks you think it's the next greatest thing out there. Yeah. I got, you got these crypto guys up there. They got a, you know, a bank on their t-shirt, you know, a rage against the machine. You do know what you're doing, right? You, you have created an alternative system where bad guys, terrorists can operate. Now, banks have willingly done this for years and years and years and years. There's been, you know, obviously they've been cracking down on that. But um, man, you make it simple and easy. And, and don't let anybody tell you otherwise. <laughs> I mean, television shows now. I, I, I was watching one show, I forget where it was, and I'm watching some young criminal explain how you could go about money uh, money laundering via crypto and doing stuff with pornography online. It made me sick to my stomach, but I'm like, yeah. Where else are you going to go? And again, you remember Carmela and the Sopranos? And she finds that uh, in the, the, uh, <laughs> the bird feed container in the back, she finds a major stash of Tony's cash, and she starts opening up bank accounts. Uh, in and around the northern New Jersey area, just under the $10,000 reporting limit. Well, if Sopranos were done today, Carmella wouldn't have a problem. She could just do it via cryptocurrencies. Watchdog on WallStreet.com.